Hey everybody, welcome back to Make Mix Buck Bakes. Today I have me a little seafood boil, you know, the potatoes, corn, shrimp, and eggs, my usual. And I got me some water right here. I put it in this bowl because I had to keep it a little bit warm because I was dealing with the kids. Had to top over it to stick it off. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Ooh, this stuff is hot. Glad I kept it in this bowl. <coughs> You can't be breathing in when you eat this sauce. I swear, it gets to the back of your throat. Yo, goat. I don't really like the skin. Set that to the side. <coughs> Hear my daughter calling me. Does this um when I eat this sauce it make me cough? <laughs> Maybe it's the spice that's doing it. I'm pretty sure it's the spice. Mmm. So good. Mm. Ooh, hot. Mm. Mm. You see a piece of ginger hanging? Yeah, it's that good stuff. Mm. Like I was fighting through that one. I think I'm gonna let this corn cool down because I can barely even handle it. Like, you know, hold it. Mm -mm. Nope, that's not to cool down. Too hot, too hot. Yeah, I was so funny the other day. My daughter, my four-year-old daughter. 
Mm. Had me dying, y'all. She always tell me, potty, potty, bathroom. I gotta go to the bathroom. So I went ahead and took her. Well, I didn't take her. I opened the door for her. I was like, go ahead. Because I usually let her go on her own. Like, we never have a problem. She's really good at that. So once I made sure she was on a potty, and I said, you got pee-pee or poo, poo She said, pee-pee. I'm like, okay, you good. She knows I wipe herself and everything. So I walked away, went into the, my den, and was on my computer. Because I think I was editing a video for y'all. And then she came in there walking all funny and, act, like, you know, just, like, acting really uncomfortable. And I'm like, what's wrong? I said, is your panties on crooked? <laughs> I said, you need mommy to fix you? I said, mommy will help you. Here, come here. I, I, I'll fix it for you. So, I pulled on her pants. And out pops a pad. <laughs> I mean, a pad you use for your pair of menstrual cycle pad. It was the funniest thing ever. I looked at her like she was crazy. Like, I said, what are you doing with that? She looked at me, trying to grab it back for me to put it back on. I'm like, yo, this way you know you ain't got no privacy in your life. When your daughter not, try to put a pad on because she see you doing it. Because they'll never leave me alone even going to the bathroom. They'll open that damn door and come in there. Mm -hmm. But it was so funny. I told her, I said, baby, you don't need that right now. You don't have plenty of time to use it. And believe me, you ain't going to like it when you have to. Mm -hmm. But you don't need that right now. It was so funny, though. I was like, this little girl really tried to put a pad on. She had it stuck, like, to the inside of her pants, like. <laughs> she did peel the back off, though. I do tell you that much. She peeled the back of a thicker off. But it was the funniest thing ever. I was like, this little girl is hilarious. I love my babies. Crazy, crazy kids. Ooh. Oh yeah. Should I make what uh Steph and Tasha are making? Or Tasha really? Making her potato volcano. I'm gonna try to do that. I never tried that all together now. <clears throat> Shout out to y'all, Steph and Tosh. Mm -hmm. This is a lot to put in your mouth. Mm. Mm. She knows what she's doing. Pretty good. Throw that all together. Tastes like a whole meal. Ooh. I should have peeled these before I put them in there. There's no reason for me to keep shelling. It ain't like I sit there and suck the shell like, you know, some people do. Oh, it's hot. See, now I'm addicted to the little potato volcano. What do you call it? Potato volcanoes or volcano potatoes. One of them. I'm addicted to it now. Now I want to 
You like that all the time. Tastes pretty good. Dip that in some sauce. Mm. <coughs> 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 so I probably went down the wrong, wrong way. Mmm. So good. Ooh, my pot. <laughs> Lately, my daughter has been watching Peppa Pig. Lord, kind of want to not let her watch it again. It annoying me. Mm. She keep calling me mommy. <laughs> That's exactly how she's saying it too. Mommy. Oh, that got my eye. Please don't let it burn. Oh. Mm -mm. Ooh. Danger. <laughs> but she'd be calling, you know, her dad, dad day, dad day, mommy. You know, because Peppa Pig got a little accent. She'd been copying them. Mm. Getting on my dang old nerves. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Look at my full of corn with that one. I know I'm over here eating like a pig, but it's so good. Time for another potato. Uh, that's the potato. Potato volcano. As soon as I get this peeled off. It's supposed to be entertaining and happy. You know, they don't never listen. Especially my four year old. She's like, what, what's a nap? What a nap? She'll never take a nap. So I just put her in her room. I have fun. Enjoy yourself. So she ended up playing with her uh, sister. Because they share a room. And I hate to put them in a room together because my two year old needs a nap. That girl be calling out on it. But eventually she'll ignore her and she'll end up going to sleep. Alright, y'all ready? Mm.
Dang, I'm almost done here. I'm gonna polish this off. Whew. I was super hungry. Superman with an S. I know I eat a lot of uh, boils. You know, a lot of these boils, but it's usually the times when I make um, some sauce, some velo sauce. <clears throat> yeah, I eat a lot of other stuff too, but I like to, like, you know, even though I put it in the fridge, I let it, you know, sit in there or something. I put it in the freezer. I still want to, like, kind of get rid of it because I don't really have a room in my fridge like that. Mmm. -hmm. Plus, I feel like the boils just like a little bit healthier than um, all that fast food stuff everybody be eating. Like, I don't really eat fast food like that, so I can't be going out to McDonald's, KFC, we also be with Domino's, doing all that stuff. Like, almost every single day, some of them eat out and eat fast food. Like, I, I cook. That's what I do. I cook, so. Your Jehovah Witnesses is out. No offense to your Jehovah Witness, but it's just not something I believe. You know? So, when they come knocking on my door, I politely, I don't, I'm not rude with it, tell them that I'm not interested. You know, it's not something I believe. And, you know, I'm okay. I wouldn't like their pamphlets. They can, you know, keep their pamphlets. <clears throat> Maybe get to somebody else who, you know, believe in that. Let me tell you why. Do they keep coming back? I don't understand. Now, I don't want to be rude, but do I have to be rude in order for you to stop coming to my house? I politely tell you all the time, like, I don't believe that. I'm not interested in that. Please take your pamphlet. I don't want it. You know? Politely. So I don't understand what makes them keep coming back week after week after week. Like, it's almost like you have to be rude in order for them to leave you alone. One time I was having a hell of a time with my kids. The twins was crying. The two year old was crying. My four year old was clowning. And then the doorbell rings. Gotta answer the door. So I go to answer the door with all this commotion going on. And it's them. After I done told them over and over again, I'm not interested. And I tell them again, once again, that, you know, they can stop coming here. You guys keep coming here week after week. Told you guys I'm not interested. I don't believe in that. I'm not interested in learning about it. Can you please not come to my house anymore? And they're like, oh, but we, you know, we just want you to read the path that you, so you get to know Jehovah. I don't want to get to know Jehovah. Please, I'm begging you, stop coming to my house. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> my kids in the background calling me. I'm like, well, I got to get back to my kids. And they say, you just talk and talk. I'm trying not to be rude, but I'm like, listen. You know what I mean? Like, you hear my kids crying back there? Yeah, I have to tend to my kids. Oh, well, Jehovah's more important. And I said, um, I don't know Jehovah, so no, he's not more important than my kids. Sorry. That's where you cross the line. Don't sit here and my kids crying back around and tell me you talking about Jehovah is more important than me tending to my kids. 
Yeah, no, you get the door slammed in your face mess with me. So I told him, I said, you talking about Jehovah is not more important than my kids, so me tending to my kids. Well, Jehovah is support more. Jehovah is a God, you know, he's more important than your kids. That's the last thing I heard before I closed the door. <laughs> uh -uh. I'm just trying to see if they're going to pull up right now. <laughs> and if y'all do have those problems, how do y'all stop it? People going to your house, coming to your house unwanted. Basically solicitating, to tell you the truth. Should I put a no solicitation sign up? Delicious, y'all. I'm surprised I finished that because y'all know I don't even be finishing stuff like that. Must have been hungry. Well, I would like to sit here and wait and see if they pull up. <laughs> see, y'all can hear this mess, but. Believe me, y'all would hear it because it's like my door's a little right there. But <sighs> we'll go. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. And they come. Definitely will let y'all know about it. But thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and click the bell. And let the video run, y'all. Let it go through the whole thing so I can go ahead and get my view. And comment down below. Let me know what you think I should do in upcoming videos or give me challenges or whatever you want to do. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.